Hello, my name is Arch Brooks, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing the Brooks Computing Systems Delphi Code Generation Tutorial. Check. For just a moment, we will consider what this particular application does. This is a 32-bit Windows application that generates or writes a new 32-bit Windows application. That's right. This is a computer program that writes a new computer program. The features of this application are accomplished largely by using skeleton programs at a specific naming convention and then we simply use the search and replace function to find certain portions of that name, naming convention and replace that with the family ID for the newly created program. Before we get started, I would like to take uh, time to show you if you don't like the aesthetics of the application, you can change its colors by simply invoking this color dialog and selecting the color that you would like and voila, the color has been changed. To begin our process, we simply move the mouse over the generate code control and tap once and we notice we're being prompted for a family ID. The application is telling us that the family ID must not be blank. So at this point we will go ahead and click OK and provide the family ID. And we'll move the mouse back over the generate code control and tap once. And now we're getting a message that the code type must be selected. So what we now must do is select the code type. We'll go ahead to continue and click on the OK. And then we'll simply go up and click on the no data option. And we'll proceed that with a left click again on the generate code option. Just a brief refresher. Uh, we can generate our Delphi program with no data with a single table or with a single table with a rave report and we also have a master detail scenario. The generate component option of the Delphi 2010 code generator generates the wrapper for a component encapsulation of the newly generated code that was produced here and also it produces uh, a standalone test bed that will allow you to test that newly generated component. At this point to complete the processing simply move the mouse over the generate code control and left click. And you'll notice that this dialog comes into view asking for uh, package documentation for the subsequently generated component And you can put in a brief description, and then you can also select the component palette, the name of the component palette where the component will be installed. And then you also will need a location for the compile for the Delphi, Delphi compiled unit to reside. And we have that selected, and we simply click OK, and the application disappears because it's done its job and the code has been generated. As you will notice when the target path is not selected, we'll go down and left click on the generate code control and it's prompting us to supply a target path. To continue we'll go ahead and click OK. Then we're presented with this particular dialog and once you select the target directory that uh, you desire, simply click on the click folder and it populates this particular field with that path. When you select an option that employs ActiveX data objects and you click the generate code control, you will notice this dialog will appear which allows you to enter your default connection string information. You'll have uh, the connection string and that will be followed by a table name. My name is Arch Brooks and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you once again for viewing the 
Brooks Computing Systems Delphi Code Generation Tutorial. Have a great day.